This very modern, attractive-looking secondary school was opened in 1961. 1,400 students attend this school, and when these pictures were taken, all but two of them were Malay. Every day begins with them saluting the flag of the Republic, and with a declaration of loyalty to their country, Singapore. The language of instruction used throughout all the school is Malay. Classes in the second language, English, were added this year. Also, there are two classes teaching the Chinese language to Malays. Because the students are Malays of the Republic of Singapore, they're entitled to free education throughout their schooling. Sangnila Utama Skola Menenga is most progressive in its outlook and thus in its teachings. The school is co-educational and boys and girls are taught together in the same class. This is the only Malay secondary school with pre-university classes. 18 students went on to the University of Singapore, 9 to Nanyang University, and 6 to the University of Malaysia. In keeping with the new thinking about modern education, provision is made for science teaching to every class in the school. The chemistry laboratory has plenty of students, and many of them are girls who are keen to make progress with their science lessons. There are 62 teachers in this well-equipped and well-staffed school. Now, students at Sangnila Utama are prepared and ready to enter the scramble for jobs when school days are over. The boys get a thorough training in woodwork, metalwork and technical drawings. Modern, well-equipped workshops are furnished with good, man-sized modern machinery. The girls go through a wide variety of domestic science classes. Their courses include cookery, sewing and domestic work. Quite clearly, these girls have learned their lessons well, and they'll be able to make mealtimes always a pleasure. <laughs> Education has to do with training in living with others. Cooperation, responsibility in group life, respecting the other man, developing civic pride and consciousness. Sangnila Utama people know this well, and the school has many youth groups and cadet corps. It would not be easy to find a smarter and more efficient group than these women police cadets. They're a credit to themselves, to their school, and to their country, Singapore. The boys form the school's military cadet corps. We see them here doing their marching routine learning the first elements of stern discipline and immediate response to commands. The Boy Scouts are going to make sure they can cope with any emergency. They're completely absorbed with their make-believe casualties. and the school gives much attention to physical exercises and games. This is softball, a version of American baseball. The boys toughen up with rugby football, probably the best of all games for toughening up. At Sangnila Utama, there is a fresh and dynamic outlook towards schoolwork in order to better equip the students to find a living in this modern technological age. <laughs>